Hello and welcome to a special Pokemon themed episode of Japanese Snack Reviews where I review Japanese snacks. Um, and yeah, so today we've got all of the Japanese snacks that came in the Pokemon Mystery Box that I uh, unboxed a few days ago on my YouTube channel. I will leave a link for that um, at the end and probably in the description below. So yeah, I'm going to go through all of these basically. So. I'm going to crack open this Ramune first, and then I'm going to have the rest as kind of one big meal, if that makes sense. So, with the power of editing, here we go! Alright then, first up is the Pokemon Ramune. Uh, let me heighten this a bit, actually. There we go, right, you can see the entire bottle now. So yeah, um, I'm going to just open this up, because it does take a little bit of preparation, but that's kind of why I love Ramune as well, so it's got a nice little strip thing here, ah, and it comes with a mysterious plastic thing. What could this be used for? Well, there's, there's a strong chance if you're watching this, you know what Ramune is, so you know what's coming up next. This is a little funnel, just in case you've never seen it before, and it goes in this hole here, and I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a clear pl uh, glass marble. So, you put that there, and you put quite a little bit of force in, and... There we go. Um... Yeah, a little bit of gas escapes, and as we can see, there is the little marble there. I don't know how... yeah, there we are, and you can see it's moving about. So, you take this off, and uh, I am going to go take a swig. Oh man, that is delightful. Actually, let me go grab a glass. Alright, so um, I'm not going to be able to angle it where you guys can see me drink it, because I, I don't know how I dangle that. Um, I'm not that big on face cam stuff, but if I pour this, you guys might be able to see there's a trail of bubbles behind. Uh, okay, maybe not then. Hmm. Okay, never mind. However, this is Ramune itself. Uh, this is the plain Ramune. Now, it comes in lots of flavours, obviously. This, basically, imagine a kind of sweet kind of lemonade thing, except it's not really lemon flavour. It's, it's a bit more like cream soda, in a sense, but it's not cream soda either. It's... It's hard to define exactly what Ramune is, but this is some delicious stuff. I usually only crack open a bottle on special occasions, uh, and as it happens, my birthday is coming up, so this coincided really well. Anyway, I'm going to go take another swig. Yeah, man, Ramune is fantastic. Um, but yeah, and as I mentioned the last thing, I quite like this bottle as well, because this will go perfectly with my other two Pokemon Ramune bottles I have of the previous two generations, and now this is the newest one, so... It'll sit with pride next to it. Uh, right, anyway, I'm going to go eat the rest of the food, so i uh, be with you in a sec. Alright, so it's time for the uh, full meal now. So in front of us, we've got the ramen, we've got the biscuits, the wafer, the cola sweets, and the sparkling grape drink. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a bit of a meal out of it, to be honest, because I could eat all of these. I'm probably going to save some of the biscuits, but I'll probably eat the rest of it. All in one meal, because I'm a hungry boy. So, first up, obviously, we can't have any meal without its main thing. And that is the Pikachu um, Soy Ramen, I believe. Or, well, the Pokemon Noodle thing. Uh, it's got Pikachu's face on. And I believe it comes with one of 20 stickers, which is cool. And some Pikachu um, Naruto, which is sort of the... Well, actually, wait, no, I don't think they would be called Naruto, would they? Because... Naruto means spiral, and the only reason the like uh, fish cakes are called spiral is because they've got a spiral, but if they don't have a spiral, what are they called? Um, um, Uma something? I think so, right. Uh, that is the packaging, as we've had a look at. I'm going to peel off the top. Uh, we'll take a look at the sticker, and then I shall prepare the ramen. Um, yeah, there we are, so... Ah, there we are, we can see the Pikachu cakes there. There's only a few of them, I believe. They're, they're decent, they're quite nice. And the fill line, obviously, is like there, if, you, if it comes up on camera. Uh, so I'll go and do that in a second. Now, what sticker do we have first? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it. Uh, I would leave these to last, but like, there's a few different things with stickers or whatever. And it's the food that I'm mainly making the video for, so... The sticker from the ramen. It, ooh, yo, it's Flareon! That's a very cute Flareon, actually. Uh, Fusuta. Fusuta, I think, is its name? 
Okay, I've never really looked at Flareon's thing. And that is the back there. What number is this? Does it tell us? It doesn't, unfortunately, which is um, a shame because I quite like things that have like numbers on them because it'll show you if you've got the full set or ever. But yeah, very cute. I'll probably go and put that on something, maybe. Anyway, time to go prepare this ramen. Alright, so I've poured the water and stuff, given it a bit of a stir, so I'm going to leave that kind of uh, brew for a few minutes. I don't know what actually the term for ramen is when you leave it. Steep, maybe? And it's time to crack open this Ocean Bomb uh, white grape flavour, like sparkling water. Quite looking forward to this. Uh, actually, a friend of mine had one of these and said they were, they were quite nice. They weren't, like, amazing, but, you know, anyway, prepare for a... ASMR of cracking a cold and open with the boys. Oh wow, smell just like escaped was interesting actually. Oh, very, very interesting. It does smell exactly like white grape actually. So, I'm going to pour it into uh, my trusty glass. So, as you can imagine, it is kind of clear basically and carbonated. Uh, so it is fizzy water, I think, rather than like soda or anything. Anyway, I'm gonna go give it a swig. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So, as I said, because it's not soda, so it's not as sweet as you'd expect. If that makes sense. I I'm not a massive fan of sparkling water, to be honest. However, that's quite nice. It's got a bit of a bitter taste, is the only thing, because the carbonation of um, sparkling water. It gives you a bit of that like tanginess or whatever on the tongue. But overall, that's not bad. That's that's quite interesting. I'm gonna have another swig. Yeah, it's um the only downside I'd say is it's a bit of a weird aftertaste. Um the white grape flavour is really nice and super refreshing. But afterwards it's the carbonation that kind of hits your tongue a bit and it's like mm, it's it's nice though. I, I I definitely would drink one of these again, especially it's a lovely, beautiful day out. Uh, it's 26 degrees, I think, at the moment, Celsius that is, not Fahrenheit. And yeah, so this is the perfect thing. So I'm gonna go check on that ramen now. Hey, there we are. Well, that is looking pretty much ready, I think. So I'm gonna tear off the foil top, uh, which is ripped a little bit, annoyingly, but whatever. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a nice uh, Pikachu fish cake to show you guys. There it is. Very cute. Actually, I'm gonna, ooh, I've got two there. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try and separate them. Okay, not the easiest thing. I'll try and find another one then, and I'm gonna taste test it live on camera. All right, there we are. I've managed to find one, so I'm gonna give it a test. Yeah, I'm not really getting much um, fish taste there, but I am getting quite a lot of the um, soy flavour, like the soup base that comes with this, which is quite nice actually. So, with that in mind, I'm going to get a bit of uh, these noodles and give them a try. Hmm, yeah, that's that's really nice actually. It's, um, well, it's literally soy sauce flavoured noodles. Um, it's quite salty, obviously. It's, quite uma it's got quite strong umami factors. Yeah. That's not bad, honestly. It's, um, I don't know if I'd like rush out and get them, because, I mean, the stickers are nice and stuff, but I'm not sure, because I'm not crazy on the taste. I quite like my noodles hot, like spicy, or, um, I don't know, with a bit of a stronger flavour. And this it is nice. It is it is just kind of soy sauce, though, which is nice once in a while, but I don't think I'd rush out, because the stickers, as I mentioned, they're cool, but I don't know if I'd buy many of these. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be putting that on, like, a Pokemon card binder or something, I think. Right, well, I'm going to go finish this off then, and then we'll bust into the uh, biscuits and stuff, and we'll take a look at the stickers that come with those. So, BRB. Alright, the ramen has finished. So, time to crack open some other stuff. So, um, I think I'm going to start with this, and then we'll end, actually, we'll end with one of these. Now, do keep an eye out, because I do have a regular Japanese snack review episode coming out, where I actually go in-depth about these. So I probably won't open, I uh, know, I, I will open, I'll have one as a dessert to these two desserts. So, the first up, we have, by Tohato, um, they're kind of biscuity things, I believe. They look like that, maybe. 
And on the side as well, quite exciting, it says guest ge which means there's a guest. Um, also, it opens up really cool. So, one of these maybe? And I think it comes with a sticker of some kind. One of these maybe? Uh, one of those. And apparently you can like stick them on paper or a cup or something. I don't know why you'd stick it on a cup. But anyway, let's crack this open. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect fully, really. I've had a few Tohato things before. Um, mostly the candy cone kind of stuff. Alright, so, ah! And we have a sticker in there. So this time I'm going to have the snack first, which is in a grooky bag. Very nice. Or, uh, Sarunori, as it's known in Japanese, apparently. I did not know that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, like, the packaging itself also has stuff. Oh, and there's also a kind of, uh, challenge at the back there. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, there's a nice picture of the three Galar starters, and of course, Grookey himself. So, let's crack this. Man, that was tight. But inside, we do indeed... Ooh, okay. So these are quite, like, crispy and crumbly. Uh, they're very light. So in the shape of Pikachu, obviously there's no, like, printing on them and stuff. But yeah, very cute. Right, I'm going to try one. Hmm, yo, that was really nice, actually. It tastes a bit like a Cocoa Puff. But with, like, a thicker shell, if that makes sense. The sort of, um... Yeah, it, it feels like it's been, like, well, not fried or something, but it's slightly more chocolatey than normal, which is pretty darn cool. Yeah, I, I highly approve of those. They they taste a lot like the Tohato candy corn things, basically, but they're chocolate instead. Very nice. Also, I'm going to keep this sticker till the end. We'll uh, open up both of them together, I think. So I'm going to put that to the side there. And I'm going to open up this wafer thing, which also comes with a sticker, I do believe, because there's 24 to collect. And that appears to maybe say... I don't know exactly. But yeah, so this is a wafer by Lot or Lotte. I think it's chocolate. So let's crack this one open. Hey, yeah, that was a lot easier to open. Let's see if I can feel around for the sticker as well, because I don't want to spoil you guys till the end. Um probably under here, so BRB. Right, I've put it off to the side. I can't, I didn't look at it myself either. So here we have the wafer. Now I've had one of these before. I think it was a Dragon Ball Super themed one. Um, and yeah, basically there's like, there's blobs of chocolate throughout or whatever, and this is like a regular cracker thing. So I'm just gonna go give it a bite. Hmm, quite nice. Um, although I will say the Cracker itself is very dry, like incredibly dry. My mouth is entirely dried up now. However, I do dig the um, texture of it all. It's sort of it's quite crunchy and stuff. The chocolate inside adds a nice texture to it as well. The chocolate itself is pretty decent as well. And yeah, overall, it's like it's nice. It's nothing mind blowing, but as a kind of wafer snack and stuff, it's pretty cool. Especially because it comes with a sticker. I'm talking with the stickers. Let me move that to the side. We have... Oh, okay. So I believe... Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So the back is Charmander, but the front is a very hollow-looking Lucario. And this is number 10, I believe. Wow, very interesting. So, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So I think, like, the entire thing. I don't think it's just Lucario that's a sticker. I think it's the whole thing. Um... Yeah, very nice, actually. I'm still confused about why Charmander's on the back there. Maybe that's, like, the set kind of image, if that makes sense. All of them come with that. But, yeah, that's really cool, actually. I like the uh, hollow effect around Lucario as well. Very nice. And the second one is the one that came with that one. Uh, we got Pikachu looking very happy there. So, let's crack this open. I think this is a sticker as well. Um, which, if it's the case, that means I'll have had three stickers today. Bubby. All right, I did what I suggested, and I just cut it using a scissors. So, our thing is... Oh, yo, it's a Venusaur. Very nice. That's pretty... Or oh, Fushigi Banner, as it's um, known. Hey, there we are, and we got some stats in Japanese about uh, Venusaur. Ah, so that's interesting. So this sticker is actually just the outline of Venusaur. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. But it's kind of raised for there. That's that's pretty cool. Now, I'm probably not going to use this one because it's got his name and stuff around it, which I really dig. Um, 
But yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Hang on, Bobby. Hey, there we are. So those are the three stickers we got today. Now, admittedly, don't get me wrong, I don't usually buy snacks and stuff for the stickers that come with them, but in terms of the stickers that did come with them, that's, that's pretty darn cool. I do like the Flareon thing. I think Lucario's my favourite. Venusaur's really cool too. I'd have preferred Blastoise, uh, but honestly, Venusaur's pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, and that about wraps it up for the snack review, actually. I think I've eaten everything now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It's been pretty fun, to be honest. It has been a full meal, basically, which is quite nice. Admittedly, only one savoury thing. Now, I don't know how many like potato chips and stuff are Pokemon-themed. They probably couldn't find that. But to be honest, it was a quite, you know, kind of a balanced... Well, okay, it's not balanced. None of it was good for you. But it was very nice as a kind of treat to have an entire meal uh, dedicated just to Pokemon items. And if you enjoyed this snack review, uh, keep an eye out, because in a week or two, I should be uploading my next Japanese snack review, which comes from a snack box that I uh, used to get. So keep an eye out for that, and obviously I will be making other videos as well in the future, and that about wraps everything up, so thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye!